Thank you so much for having me. Bitcoin.com. My name's Elliot. I host a show called FUD TV, uh, youtube.com slash FUD TV. And I'm a lifelong developer. I appreciate the opportunity to come and discuss cryptocurrency and innovations here in the blockchain space with Roger. So thanks for having me, Roger. And Elliot's one of those rare breed of developers that can actually like, talk very, very eloquently. <laughs> like most developers have a hard time uh, communicating their ideas verbally. Uh, but Elliot's not one of those. So uh, great job, Elliot, on that front. And, uh, and he has his own channel, as he mentioned, go and subscribe to that, look at it, check out his videos. He has lots of great content over there. Uh, and if you like this channel and uh, this video, of course, subscribe to this one as well. Uh, we're going to talk about the five most influential companies, I think, and, and individuals. Is that the plan here? Yeah, we're, I guess we'll discuss just the five most uh, influential entities or people here in the cryptocurrency space. And, you know, usually those people are either attached, unlike yourself, uh, you might be your own island in, in some ways, but a lot of people have their uh, companies behind them. So whichever one, uh, I think there's no rules here. We'll just discuss uh, who are the movers and shakers here in this industry. Yeah, of, of course, the, I think the one that's at the very top of my list is the world's most popular cryptocurrency wallet. Uh, they have more wallets than any other wallet company out there in the world, and that's blockchain.com. Uh, and so like, I think 34 million, 37 million wallets, that's more than uh, anybody else out there in the entire world, more than, more than Coinbase or, or Binance or any of this stuff. And I, I want to clarify the difference between an actual wallet where the users control their private keys and a wallet in which they don't have control their private keys. And I don't even think it's accurate to call the other things wallets if you don't have your keys there you don't have your coins so things like coinbase and binance and kraken and this and that uh they're not wallets they're just like bank accounts for cryptocurrencies and so it's a very very important distinction uh and we were talking about this at the office the other day i'm pretty sure bitcoin.com is the world's second most popular cryptocurrency wallet bitcoin a blockchain is number one Bitcoin is number two. Bitcoin.com is number two. I think we have more wallets than any other wallet company other than blockchain. So I think that's a pretty big deal, uh, if I do say so myself. And I think a lot of people don't realize that we are the second most popular wallet software in the entire world, second only to blockchain. Uh, and of course, when it comes to buying and selling cryptocurrencies, you have to be able to do that. So I think the next two on my list are, are both Binance and Coinbase. Coinbase has done more to allow people to easily buy and sell cryptocurrencies than any other company in the entire world. Uh, so great job to everybody at Coinbase for having done that. And then Binance more recently has been doing the same thing, allowing people to trade their cryptocurrencies from one to another and onboarding a huge number of people to do that. So great job to, to those. And then I think the fifth one on my list would have to be BitPay. Uh, BitPay has enabled more people to be able to spend their cryptocurrencies than any other business uh, ever in the history of cryptocurrencies. So uh, Really great to see all of these businesses making the tools to make cryptocurrencies useful for people. So if we had to recap, blockchain.com, bitcoin.com, Coinbase, Binance, BitPay. And these are all businesses that have enabled millions of people around the world to be able to actually use cryptocurrency in their lives in useful ways. And that's what this is all about. It's not it's not speculating on what the price is going to be tomorrow. The price is is determined by the actual usefulness in commerce. And so the more usefulness we make in commerce, the higher the price is going to be. But the price alone isn't what's interesting. It's just a side effect of the interesting things that are happening. Yeah, price and value, those are the two uh, the two things that not are not always necessarily correlated in the crypto sphere, but hopefully over time. And I think, you know, uh, it is the strong belief uh, for people who are studying the fundamentals and are invested in the technology that those two will correlate over time and that the the coins with no value, with no purpose uh, will disappear or, you know, flail and the ones with true purpose, true utility will thrive. That's the true hope. Um, and so I'll, I'm going to ride your coattails a little bit by, uh, you know, Binance obviously is uh, certainly a leader in many ways. And uh, Cheng Peng Zhao, I believe is, you know, my list was a little bit more actual people driven. Um, but yeah, Binance and, and CZ, uh, we can throw in Coinbase there as well, though I do believe at the moment CZ has a, a little bit more of a, an influence on, on the whole crypto space as opposed to the domestic uh, crypto space here, though Coinbase did uh, announce that they're launching a peer to peer payment system in uh, to go into Venezuela today. Uh, that's sort of Venmo style. So good for them. Good for Brian Armstrong over there. 
Uh, the next on my list was actually the developers, uh, and I didn't want to, you know, pick and choose just a few because there are so many great developers in this space: Michaela Vitalik, Hoskinson, and you know what I wanted to sort of piggyback on as a developer myself is that the next person on this list could be you. You know, there's nothing stopping you from getting involved in this cryptocurrency movement, and it's certainly what's brought me to the space. I know many of you might know me from content or my videos, uh, and I love talking about cryptocurrency and this this revolution we're experiencing. But the the real passion I have is, is developing the next use case, the next utility, the next way to get more people involved in this space. And I believe truly that anyone can do it. Uh, and so, yeah, the developers, I believe, uh, are the ones who are going to bring that utility. You, you know, there needs to be smart business folks. And, and but in the end, you know, those the developers will create those amazing revolutionary use cases. And so you could be on that list. Don't give up. We need you more than now more than ever. So um Another person on my list is actually Brock Pierce. Uh, he's just done so much and, uh, you know, polarizing indeed, controversial indeed. But, you know, there's just so many notches on his belt uh, from Tether to EOS to blockchain capital to being an early Bitcoin adopter. Uh, it's just so many things. And I'm not saying he's involved in a negative way. I'm just saying that uh, the guy's been in the boardroom of, you know, he gets things done. <laughs> he, Absolutely. Gets, he gets things done. Um, and so, you know, I'll throw him on the list. I also have uh, the VC uh, click on the list uh, of, you know, the Novogratzes, the Silberts, the Drapers. Uh, you know, in the end, there are a lot of projects that need VC support um, or, you know, other types of support. And while they're not unique in, in that we've we've created a very crowdfunded movement in, in cryptocurrency, uh, they're still doing their part. And I believe that the next chapter of bringing on uh, Wall Street and macro funds and, and these sort of things uh, will be helped significantly by uh, the Novogratzes and, and the Silberts and the Drapers. Um, and then I'm going to be really boring and put Satoshi Nakamoto on the list. Um, <laughs> but of it course, is one of the most important things in the entire history of humankind, right up there on par with the importance of like the Internet or electricity. That's how big of a deal the invention of this uh, distributed consensus system is. So, yeah, there's a lot of really amazing people in there. Uh, great list. Uh, and that's my list. And yeah, it's just been a, a pleasure to get to chat uh, with you over the last hour or so. Um, you know, if you guys didn't see, we did a, a great video that's going up on FUD TV. Um, and I appreciate your time. Uh, what are you off to do next? And actually, I, I want to ask you, Elliot, as a lifelong developer, what do you tell our viewers? What are you developing? What are you working on? What's your project? I appreciate that. So right now, I'm working on a, an immersive 3D gaming ecosystem, and you know, I sort of seen blockchain gaming as a as a name strapped on a lot of different projects. But where are the games? You know, where are the where are the actual video games? And so you know, we're using NFTs. Uh, all the characters in our games are NFTs. All the items are NFTs, and we're building a real uh, next generation immersive 3D gameplay, uh, persistent open world. We're so excited for it, and we think uh, what we're what we're developing is going to really blow people away. Uh, and we're not treating this as just a blockchain project. We're treating this as a mainstream gaming project. We want this to be attractive to the mainstream, to the, to, to the, you know, the high school kid, as well as, you know, the grandma, whoever, everyone. Like, everyone, you know, we want it to be a fun game that puts smiles on people's faces, has people coming back day after day just for the fun. And then they, you know, over the course of your experience in the game, you'll learn, oh, you're managing a, a wallet with uh, tokens in it. You are actually earning crypto by playing. And did you know you can now convert those tokens into other cryptocurrencies as well and make use of, of your time here in the game. So that's like that taking not a backseat, but it's not the only part of the dish. We want the dish to be the game. And so uh, that's how we're doing it. And, and I really appreciate the opportunity to come and talk about it here on Bitcoin.com. Fantastic. And if you're a developer yourself watching this, head on over to developer.bitcoin.com. We have all the tools that make it super, super easy to get started. And we have another video on this channel already that shows you how to make your own Bitcoin cash based tokens. You can do it in like less than three minutes. You can have a token to do whatever you want and then send and receive it with anyone anywhere in the world instantly and basically for free. Uh, you'll love it. So uh, get started today. Thank you so much, Elliot. I appreciate it. And uh, I guess we'll see everyone next time. Thank you.